Hi, this is Raj from MR Sports Cars. In my hands I've got two very special keys to two 911 Targas. I wanted to compare the different generations. This is a 997 Gen 2 Targa 4S. This is a 991.2 Targa 4 GTS. So there's a bit of a spec difference, but basically I wanted to highlight the, the key physical differences and also the sound differences. So this has got a three litre twin turbo. This has a 3.8 naturally aspirated flat six direct fuel injection. Both are direct fuel injection engines. Um, both do sound sensational, but very different. This will do 60 in around four and a half seconds. This will do it in around three and a half. So incredibly fast, both of them, but that one is another level of performance. Uh, both are four wheel drive, both of them wide body. I'll go through all the dimensions of the cars with the, the PDF file we put together. So you can see the, the actual physical differences, but I'll just talk around the cars for now. So this 997 Gen 2 has 385 brake horsepower, 310 foot pound of torque. And this one has 65 more horsepower, so 444. And it has almost 100 foot pound of torque more. I think it's 407 or 406 foot pound of torque. So a huge amount of torque on this car. Um, both are incredibly beautiful and I'll talk through the physical differences now. So here we have the 997 Gen 2 finishing basalt black. The 997 Gen 2 Targas had this unique chrome strip going front to back. The body is actually based on the convertible body of the 997 Gen 2. And then it has this beautiful, in most modern car terms, it's, it's sort of defined as a, a panoramic sunroof. But on this era of 911, it's, it is called the Targa, um, the rear badging says, so as well targa 4s and it has a very useful feature on the back there which i'll which i'll point out then we have the 991 gen 2 finishing gt silver this one has the lovely crow red extended leather and some other really nice options and this one has the gts interior so it's half extended leather alcantara and red stitching so both are striking but for in very different ways that one has PDLS, so it has the dynamic cornering lights. I think this one does as well, but they've been brought up to date. You can see that the 991.2 is a much more imposing car on the road. It's wider at the front in terms of the bodywork, but actually, which is what I'll show you in the PDF, surprisingly, mirror to mirror, both cars have got the same width. Hard to believe when you look at them, but it really is the case that Yes, the mirrors are the widest part. I think they're just ever so slightly wider than the wings, possibly. It's, there's not much in it, but basically the width of the car is the same. Height's about the same. I think this one is slightly lower, nine mil or something like that. So uh, I will go through those, but let's just have a look at how these roof mechanisms work first. So I'll just uh, do the Targa roof. This 997 Gen 2, as you can see, it's got some absolutely amazing features like the Galvano trim, extended trim on the sides, leather um, uh, vent vanes, air vent vanes, um, hardback sport seats. Bizarrely without heating though, so that is uh, unusual that this car is so well split. But there you can see the extra light that that Targa roof lets in on the 997 Gen 2. Right, so this one has a rear uh, screen, so I'll just show you that first. So you can block the light out through there. If it was too sunny, you're parking it up in direct sunshine, you would probably put that across just to keep the cabin a little bit cooler. Can't tell from the outside, but on the inside, it makes it quite a bit darker. And then this is the roof opening. So that actually reduces the um, interior space for the rear seats because the headroom is reduced by maybe an inch and a half or so. But you can see that the angle of the seats is normal. So it's the same as the coupe. Some convertibles have, uh, the convertible version has more upright seats because it's got all of that roof mechanism. This one doesn't have that. So the seats are at a much more natural angle and more comfortable for, for passengers in the back. But there it is open. 
and with that, with that open, you can't actually do... Um, what, one of the features I love about these 997 Gen 2 targets is you can't actually use it with that open. So I'm just going to close it first and then show you the one feature which I think really makes this more practical than any other 911 of this era, which is, it's got an extra button here. So when you push that, pull that forwards, you can then access this area here. So you've got a whole bunch of extra room. Yes, that is in the coupe as well, but you can't actually easy access it because it's behind the seat. So you'd have to sort of crawl through. But then if you wanted to, you could use all of that area for luggage. So that's a really nice feature, I think. And it's got a soft close mechanism, so you sort of just drop it, then it shuts itself. And then on this one, the Targa roof is much more in keeping with the 80s, well, 60s, 70s, 80s style 911 Targas in that it has a fabric section, it has a rollover hoop. In this case, on the GTS, it's finished in satin black, but normally that's silver just like on the older cars. And then it has this glorious rear screen. Can't even imagine how much that would be to replace. In fact, I did see one once that had one of those damaged and I wouldn't ever dare trying to take that one into stock and then having it repaired because, yeah, I can only imagine the cost of that replacement panel. Um, this again is based on the convertible in terms of its underlying structure lower down. But then you have this, this canvas section. It's quite a bit of theater actually opening this out. It's the same as a 991 Gen 1. So let me actually start it up first so you can hear how amazing this car sounds. There we go. Sounds absolutely beautiful. So you've got these buttons in the middle here. You hold that one starts lifting that rear clam and then that roof stows in that section there and then that slides down and the windows go up so there it is so you still have the same amount of space in the back there but with it being this era, the seats are more like the convertibles, so they're more upright in the back there than what you saw in the Targa 4S997 Gen 2. But you, then you've got that lovely open space, which is fully uninterrupted from the base of the window, so tops of the doors, you can have that all completely exposed unlike the Targa 4S997 Gen 2 because it has this rail always there. But it's not quite the same experience. I mean, both have got their own appeal. So that's what the 991.2 looks and sounds like. On startup, just put this roof back. So as you can see, it really does do a real feat of engineering, this roof mechanism. And it does actually stick out. Um, let me just open it into the service mode um, where you, you would open this actually to top up the oil or the coolant. So you can see this section here without the roof in it is unused. So I don't know whether you could store stuff there. Maybe it's probably not recommended because if it, if it does try and drop the panel in there, if you forget, then it's not ideal to have that, any anything in the way there. But you can see that that sticks out quite a long way behind the car. So it's not really, it's not recommended you do that while on the move. You have to do that stationary. Obviously the, the Gen 2, you can operate that at speed and it's got no issues, just like any other sunroof. Whereas this one, you, I would, it only lets you do it stationary, but I would actually do it while you're pulled over safely. 
not in traffic. Uh, you wouldn't want to hit like a van or something with that rear edge. I'll just close that down. There we go. So I'll turn that one off and then I'll let you hear the, the Gen 2. I think these sound very gruff as well. I don't see that there's any disadvantage. I mean, a 3.8 flat six naturally aspirated is always gonna sound great. This has got these switchable sports exhaust as well. So it does sound really throaty itself. Great car. And um, yeah, both are phenomenal, both special in their own right. If I just show you the, the actual measurements of how they're different, that might actually help as well, demonstrate their differences. So here I've got both files and I'll just turn to this page here on both. So, in here. So there is the two sets of stats. So key ones are width 1852, width 1852. This is a new 991 Gen 2. This is the 997 Gen 2. Heights 1300, heights 1291. So then the length is 4528, 4435. So the, the 991 Gen 2 is quite a bit longer. But the wheelbase itself is also quite a bit longer. 2350 versus 2450, so 10 centimeters different. So it does make a difference to how it handles. It can handle more power and stability. It's more stable through corners. Uh, weight, 1540 versus 1605. So there's about 65 kilos of extra weight. Top speed, 185 versus 190, that's irrelevant. 3.5 to 60, 4.8. I said four and a half, it's 4.8. Um, 2018 versus 2010, you can see a lot changed, but they've still got seven speeds, 3.8 versus a three litre twin turbo. Uh, wheels increased in size by an inch, but the tires are actually like the same proportions to those larger wheels. So that hasn't changed in terms of its um, dimensions on the, on there's still, um, actually no, these are eight inch wide there, and 11 inch wide at the rear, whereas this is nine inch wide and 12 inch at the rear. That's because it's a, the GTS um, with the locking center hubs. Um, front and rear track is, a, is different as well. It's got a wider front track um, on the 991 Gen 2, 1539 versus 1488. The rear is about the same, 1548 versus 1544. Um, as I said, they're both four wheel drive and they are both, I mean, incredible, just even to look at. I mean, they both look like very special sports cars to me. And I'm sure they do to you too. I mean, great cars, um, very rare actually. Both of them are, are very rare. I haven't looked up the production numbers of this, but I do know that the 997 Gen 2 Targas, there was only just over 200 registered in the UK between 2009 to 2012. So very rare car, um, the Targa in general. Um, so I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have any questions about Targas, be it 997 Gen 2s or 991s, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks for watching.